Is that Chris Go or Justin Timberlake? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure who I'm talking to right now. Yeah, man. I didn't know. You know, I was like, one of us, I've been noticing you've been wearing um, ball caps lately. I was like, well, one of us got to wear a fedora. We got to wear something up in here. You know what? Thank you for representing. I appreciate it. The Crisco Kid Block Party. Let's go. It's been a couple of years since I, I, I talked to our next guest on the show. Matter of fact, it's been too damn long. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Neo. Yeah. What's going on, Pimmin? Man, I see you. You you over there. You running the show today, man. I like that. I like that. They got me. They got me where the buttons is at. So should the building self self destruct? This it wasn't me. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Neo, man. Congratulations. Uh, I've been I've been rocking with self explanatory for about I don't know three days. I guess since it came out over the weekend, I've had time to spend with it. And well done, sir. Well done. Thank you, brother. Thank you. And I believe that you are saying that genuinely and not just because we're on the radio right now. No, uh, no, no. That that's that's real. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because I knew that this uh this day was. Was, was coming soon here. Um, but yeah, just congratulations. Uh, like I said, eight studio albums. Some people don't make it past two. And obviously, a gentleman such as you, almost 20 years in the game. Uh, I, I saw the promo clip. Matter of fact, I tweeted it and said, hey, I'm talking with Neo this morning. Uh, but yeah, it is it is pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, we know what to expect from a Neo album, but a lot's happened in the three or four years since uh, I'm, I'm sure maybe this project kind of started developing because i know the, the record with you and jeremiah we played it on the air the you two love and um i mean just kind of walk us through uh was this more because i know it's a journey of your life you know the ups and downs but was it kind of like something to when you're done you write all the thoughts or did you kind of write this as you were going through everything much kind of like what we similarly went through yeah no it was definitely that it was definitely uh writing it as i'm going through it um, I, I have a, a horrible memory. So if I was to wait to the to, to later on and then try to go back, I, I wouldn't remember what the hell went down. It's, right. it's really sad and unfortunate. I have the memory of a goldfish. I genuinely do. What's your name again? I'm sorry. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No. Um, no, nah, it was definitely in the moment type of situations. You know, I, I was I was uh, just saying earlier that I didn't get real, real creative over the pandemic just because there was so much just scattered and, and you know, not cohesive information. So it was like the last thing I was worried about was writing a song. I'm like, are we going to die tomorrow? Like, what's going on? You know what I mean? If it became that. Um, but once we, you know, once once I got that mind state off and then got the whole mind state of just kind of not really knowing where I fit now, you know what I mean? Like that, I went through that for a second, just just uh, looking at the industry, looking at, you know, what's popping right now and how what's popping right now is like really not really what I do. You know, so I'm like, the sound has changed, the look has changed, the way that people consume their music has even changed. Like, right. where do I fit in this whole thing? You know, so it it took me a minute to to stop thinking like that. You know, where you just second guess everything that you do, so you can't really produce anything. Uh, so it took a minute to get out of that. Once I got out of that, out of that, the 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 songs just flowed from there. You know, I, I had to realize that my my purpose in this is to simply make music, not to sell records, not to you know concern myself with relevancy and all of these things like i got into this business for the love of music i didn't get in to make money i didn't get in to be famous i got in because i love music and somebody told me one day that i could make a living doing it i'm like okay you, they're gonna pay me for some something i was just gonna do for free anyway cool sign me up so that's why i'm here and once i got back to that it became easy from there you know so so I'm thanking God that this album is finally out for people to enjoy. If you are, in fact, enjoying it, if you are not enjoying it, that is a problem that you should rectify sooner than later. You should you should probably get your mind right because I don't right. say you could not enjoy this album. It is a great album, start to finish. But don't take my word for it. If you ain't heard it yet, it's out right now, self-explanatory. Go check that thing out, man. Man. Yeah, yeah. Neo, you know, uh, I, I read in the interview that you had put out, you know, a couple of days ago and it, it was talking about uh, things that you – didn't really want to talk about with this album. And it's, and it's kind of like how we do the show here. We don't do a lot of gossip because I know that um, I can't out gossip your favorite gossip sites, right? I, I don't do a lot of things that it doesn't make sense for me to compete in because it's just not me, right? And right. I, I think what you were saying, hey, I, I'm not going to get into any of the political uh, discussions. I'm not going to talk about COVID in the album because, you know, what more, you know, could I say about it, right? Um, but like when you're writing, are you intentionally thinking like, I'm not gonna, you know, put this in there or does, you know, you just doing what you do. It just, like you said, it just kind of flows out. It just goes through. You. It's kind of that. I, 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 it wasn't exactly a conscious decision to not 
talk about the pandemic to not talk about, you know, the, the Black Lives Matter and the protests and all of that. I just really didn't have anything to say about it that mm -hmm. what that hadn't already been said really, really well or a whole bunch of times. And then plus it's like you can literally look out the window and see it. Like I don't have I don't gotta tell y'all that we all in indoors right now. I don't have to sing a song about that. Y'all living it. You're living it right now, you know? Well not right now, but it, at the time. Right. Um so yeah, it wasn't it wasn't so much, you know, all right, let me put my foot down. I am not gonna sing about nah, it wasn't that. It was just a matter of I'm gonna sing about the things that are for one that are, you know, poignant to me in this moment. And two, I wanted this album to kind of be an opportunity for people to woo side because I felt I, I saw that that was definitely needed. Step out of the storm for a second and recharge, you know. So right. I want I wanted this album to be that as opposed to something reminding you of the of the storm that we are currently in. I didn't want to right. do that. Yeah, yeah, you know, Neo, we, we got a, we got a lot of songs to run through. Uh, you taking over the show today? I don't know if you, I don't know if they told you that, but you taking over my show. So let's uh, run through, I don't know, your, your first pick of what you want to do this hour from Self-Explanatory. What you got for us, Neil? If you got the album there with you, I feel like it only makes sense to go from the top. This is one of my personal favorite joints on the album, which is why I started the album with it. I wanted to set it off with a bang, set it off with a vibe and energy that just kind of, you know, uh, let everybody know what they was in store for. Uh, I gotta say, shout out to the boy Zay France. He's a, a very new cat that's featured on this uh, featured on this joint. Uh, if you don't know the name yet, look him up. He's got music out right now. Really, really talented cat. Uh, so yeah, the name of this joint is Laying Low. I think we should start it off there. You already know it's the Crisco Kid Block Party on Pitbull's Globalization. Yes, indeed, it's the Block Party taking over by Neo, which means that Crisco gonna give me half his check when we get done with this. But we'll talk about that off air. We'll, um, you, we'll, we'll work out that publishing on this house ever so to work, man. We'll, we'll deal with we'll deal with later. Yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, it ain't gonna we'll be much. I'll tell you that. <laughs> it ain't gonna be much. So, so you know, one thing that's really hot right now is uh, throwbacks, man. Uh, a, a lot of stations, including one that I'm on in in Phoenix 101.1, the Bounce. I, that's what we specialize in, man. I mean, and and you. You got a, a career that spans like 15, 20 years where you've been making these hits. It's hit after hit after hit. Like when you look up Neo's greatest hits or his top 10, they say, no, you think, I think you need a top 30. He got so many damn records, man. Um, but it's not for good because we're talking about checks and that publishing got to be doing great right now. Because when you look at yeah. albums yeah. like, uh, or songs even like Miss Independent, you look at Closer, you look at uh, uh, So Sick, Champagne Light, Stay. Lovely Christmases, yes indeed. Yes. Indeed. Ooh man, I mean, it feels it feels good, you know, because of you is charting right now. That's for my second damn album, you know what I'm saying? Like, and and my my shout out to TikTok, shout out to to the young cat that that got on TikTok and decided to put together the challenge. You know what I mean? I I'm all for it. I'm all for it. And, you know, people just mixed emotions about how people feel about TikTok. I personally feel like. If somebody want to take, if somebody's inspired by one of my songs to get on there and create a little, a little challenge or a dance, by all means, go for it. Yeah. Just don't holler at me like Neo. You should make up a challenge. No, no, that's that. That's not my. It's not my lane. It's not my thing. But but I, but I think they they I don't want to say expect it or they look forward to it because look at World of Dance, right? Uh, uh -huh. You know, so many seasons they've seen you in that lane and they kind of they want you to participate because. I mean, I think I did read a couple years ago like it's it's not coming back, but I would think still maybe a, a good opportunity for you would be to like do your own world of dance or whatever and and have maybe a choreography challenge to where they could do one of your videos in the future that might be something as well that's a great idea i'm glad i thought of it that's a great yeah, yeah. Idea. you know yeah. it, it just makes sense so shout out to all the tiktok people <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, keep listen, much out of all the TikTokers, man. man. Keep going, keep doing what y'all doing. I can't, I can't front. TikTok is, is, I mean, artists have broken off TikTok, records have broken off of TikTok. So you can't, you can't deny the importance and the heaviness of TikTok. So shout out to TikTok and everybody that's on there, uh, making their money and, and and making dreams come true. Damn it, that's there what it's go. about at the end of the day, bro. If you had to yeah. pick a top five though, five throwbacks, uh, what what would you or any of them like? It doesn't matter if it was a big radio hit, if it was one of your quote unquote B side joints. What what mm -hmm. top five? My top five of, of my records are just your records, man. My top five. Oh, damn. This is not an easy question. Neo's top five. Top five. All right. Well, we got to throw Miss Independent in there. You know, yep. that's 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 a that's one for the culture. You know, that's one for the ladies. We got to do that. Um, cult classic uh, joint called Mirror off the first album. I definitely feel like it should have been a single. The, the record label didn't agree with me, so it didn't mm. happen. They were stupid. Um, uh, let me see. Three. Uh, a song called Say It, uh, another very sexy record. Apparently, my record label at the time didn't feel like I was sexy, so they didn't want to drop these sexy records. It's okay. I'm not bitter. Damn. Maybe a little bit. Um, what is that, three? All right, we That's need two three. more. Uh, let's go uh, 
Give Me Everything with the boy Pitbull. Yes. Shout out to Mitch. Shout out to Mr. Worldwide. And last but not least, we will go. Hmm. If we think if we're going to throwbacks, probably, probably, uh, probably Sexy Love. All right. You know yeah. what? Let's do that right yeah. now. Uh, Neo taking over the show. It's the Crisco Kid Block Party. Self-explanatory. We celebrating that, but we're going to throw it back one time. Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Sexy Love right here on the Block Party. Keep it locked, damn it. Uh, you yep. mentioned Pitbull a while ago. Let's let's stick with that right quick because I do this thing called the Pitbull Experience. Uh, what's one moment, one memory that, um, you know, nobody kind of really knew about, but just you had a great mm -hmm. time, you, you, a notable experience? Yo, I genuinely can't think of a Pitbull experience that wasn't notable. He's just that dude. You know what I mean? Like, whenever he's around, it's it's, it's a classy situation. You know what I'm saying? He stays suited and booted. He's one of the few people on the face of the planet that can wear a suit just as good as me. Shout mm. out to that man. Yeah, every every time every time I've been around Pitt, it's always been just a lot of love. You know what I'm saying? Everybody around him is always always super energetic and just, just nice people. You know what I mean? Which is rare in the music industry. People be jerks, man, for real. They use celebrity as an excuse to be a jerk and that's just never been pit you know what i'm saying he's always just been a stand-up dude like as long as i've known him and 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 that 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 within itself is just you know that that makes every moment with him memorable you know you you hang out with some of these other cats and you just see that you just compare it's just a difference in it you know there's there's a there's a class that sits with him that that don't sit with many like i'm gonna be i'm gonna be real honest about that so shout out to the boy pit that's my guy man forever and ever well, uh, I asked him to send a little message to you, and he says, um, uh, here's what he has to say about Neo. On top of being extremely talented, he is a solid human being and the most professional person I have worked with. Nothing but respect. And uh, we are due for another global hit together. Let's Always go. Proud of him and nothing but love. My guy. Can we get another My one? Guy. Can we get another hey, one now? Hey, he, he know where I'm at, man. Holler yeah. at me. Anytime, anytime. Pit, he already know. He already know. It's 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 a phone call. It ain't even a phone call. All right? It could be this. I'm gonna send him something. He gonna send me something, and we are gonna hit y'all with another one. We've done it how many times at this point? About three, about three times. Yeah. Let's give yeah. another one. Let's give him another. Why not? One. Let's go. Neo, look, they they telling me to wrap up. Uh, we got to get a longer conversation in the future. But look, I appreciate you uh, checking in today. Thank you so much. Give him it. Give him all the info one more time. Where you want to go? What's coming up? Come on. Follow your boy on IG at Neo. Uh, holler at me at, on Twitter at Neo Compound. Holler at me on TikTok at Neo. Holler at me on Facebook backslash Neo. Y'all know how to do all that. Self explanatory is the name of the new album. It is out right now. Everywhere music is streamed and downloaded. I've been trying to say in stores all week, and music ain't in stores no more, which might be part of the problem. But that's another conversation. Thank y'all so much for rocking with me. I love y'all to death, man. It's been damn near 20 years, and the love hasn't changed. Thank you, Chris Go. You already know what it is, man. Always love. I appreciate the hell out of y'all, man. It's Neo. Peace and love. I will check you on Battle LA Part 2. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Is it coming?